Japan, the European Union, Canada, and Mexico have flexible exchange rates. What does it mean to have flexible exchange rates? Flexible exchange rates can be defined as exchange rates determined by global supply and demand of currency. In other words, they are prices of foreign exchange determined by the market that can rapidly change due to supply and demand and are not pegged nor controlled by central banks. Suppose Japan attracts an increased amount of investment from the European Union. What does it mean to attract an increased amount of investment? This increased in investment refers to the capital account. A capital account is a national account that shows the net change in asset ownership for a nation. That capital account is the net result of public and private investments flowing in and out of a country. Using a correctly labeled graph of the loanable funds market in Japan show the effect of the increase in foreign investment on the real interest rate in Japan. The supply shifts to the right with this increased investment which will lower the real interest rate. This represents a supply side policy. This includes policies that lower or remove taxes on income earned from savings. This would encourage saving and increase the supply of loanable funds. This increase in saving and investment allows for an increase in the productive capacity of a nation because more capital stock is accumulated. This could also increase the long-run aggregate supply curve. How will the real interest rate change in Japan affect the employment level in Japan in the short run? The decrease in the real interest rate will increase investment spending, which will increase aggregate demand. This will increase output, which increases both real GDP and employment. Suppose in a different part of the world, the real interest rate in Canada increases relative to that in Mexico. Using a correctly labeled graph of the foreign exchange market for the Canadian dollar show the effect of the change in real interest rate in Canada on the international value of the Canadian dollar expressed as Mexican pesos per Canadian dollar. The demand shifts to the right, showing an appreciation of the Canadian dollar. Generally, higher interest rates increase the value of a given country's currency. The higher interest rates that can be earned tend to attract foreign investment, increasing the demand for and value of the home country's currency. Suppose in a different part of the world, the real interest rate in Canada increases relative to that in Mexico. How will the change in the international value of the Canadian dollar affect the Canadian exports to Mexico? The Canadian exports to Mexico will decrease because the appreciation of the Canadian dollar makes Canadian products more expensive for Mexican consumers.